notebook or laptop versus netbook. There are things you should know before you buy. A netbook is cheaper, lighter, smaller, and generally has a longer battery life than a laptop. A laptop is generally more powerful. It could have a larger screen, like 19 and above. And it has a CD, DVD, and Blu-ray drive. Even the cheapest laptops have a CD drive. Compared to a netbook, which does not, or at least the vast majority of them do not have a, any type of optical drive. So if you want to insert a CD, DVD, or a Blu-ray disc into your netbook, insert the information or install a program, you have to purchase an external unit, which is something like this, an external CD, DVD, or Blu-ray drive, and connect it via USB. Of course, it will be extra money, and it will be a little bit clunkier if you carry it around. And there are more upgrade options. Two that come to mind are if you purchase a laptop with a DVD drive, and in the future you want to upgrade to a Blu-ray, you could just check the site. So if I purchase one from Dell, I go to their website and see if they have any Blu-ray drives for my particular model. Second is if I wanted to upgrade my video card, if I purchase a laptop that had a removable or upgradable video card, I could just go in there and upgrade the video card. I haven't seen any netbooks that have upgradable video cards in them, just built-in ones. As far as the applications and what you could use them for, with a netbook, it's generally internet stuff, like most websites, um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, check your email, listen to music, watch movies, and for a laptop, everything that I just mentioned on the netbook, you could do. And on top of that, if you get any of the mid-range to higher-end models, you could also do stuff like play games, like Sims 3, Call of Duty series, like Modern Warfare 2, Battlefield, play World of Warcraft, and all these different games. Depending on the, again, depending on the model of the laptop, lower-end models, you cannot play most of these games I just mentioned but for the mid-range and, and higher ones, you can. Also, for the mid-range and higher ones, you could use Photoshop, do video editing. So, you could do all that on laptop and netbook. You cannot do any of that. So, if you're a gamer, do not purchase a netbook. You will, you will seriously be disappointed. I'm not even sure if you would even be able to install a game on there, much less play it. So that's the difference between a netbook and a laptop. On to the news. Google announced they will be integrating the Adobe Flash Player onto their Chrome browser soon. What this means to you is that every time you install Chrome on a computer, you would no longer have to install the Adobe Flash Player onto it. Also, it might eliminate errors like in YouTube or Facebook when it says something about JavaScript or the Adobe Flash Player not installed and you can't view any videos or do something on Facebook, it might eliminate some of those errors too because the Adobe Flash Player will automatically be updating now along with Google Chrome, which always updates in the background. The opposing viewpoint is that Google is shoving down the Adobe Flash Player down our throat. And whether you like the Flash technology or not, even Adobe admits that Flash will definitely be a thing of the past soon. Well, a thing of the past soon in terms of a few years, but not anytime soon. Also, I hope Google at least gives people who do not like to use Adobe Flash a certain option so they could just uncheck it or uninstall it from their Chrome installation. My take on it, if, you use, if you're like me and you use sites like Facebook, YouTube, or view streaming videos on the web, you use Adobe Flash every day along with hundreds of millions of other people around the world. And just integrating the Adobe Flash within Google Chrome 
will just make things simplistic for you. No need to check to see if you have the latest flash updates to cover a security hole patch. It will just update along with Google Chrome, which updates in the background. And if you don't want to use Flash, just don't use Google Chrome. There's Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, Opera. Well, those are the major ones out there, and there are also other browsers out in the web. You just have to look. Next news item. Nintendo announced they will be releasing a new 3D handheld gaming device. Little gaming device, like in the DS series. Um, there's really little known about this device, only speculations and rumors, and here's what I gathered from those rumors. It will not require the use of 3D glasses, so no need to put on glasses as you're playing your little device. It will have force feedback technology, like those games when you're driving and you crash into something, somebody crashes into you, the controller shakes, so it will have similar technology. It will have an acceleram accelerometer. Yeah, that's how you say it. It will have an accelerometer. Similar to the Wii controller, which actually senses what direction you're going, how fast you're you're throwing something and like the and like the iPod devices, like the iPhone. It would have faster wireless speed than previous versions, longer battery life than previous versions. The screen will be four inches or smaller. It will debut in Japan first at the end of 2010 or beginning of 2011. And there is no set date as to when it will appear in the United States or Europe. I'm not sure exactly how well this little gaming device will be, but I'm very, very excited to test it out. This month on cleartechinfo.com, we will be releasing tutorials on optimizing your computer, Windows 7, Google Chrome, and several on virus, malware, spyware removal and prevention. One of those tutorials will be an advanced method I use at work every day to service our 300 plus computers there. And it works almost every time, probably out of 100 times, I would say it works 99 times, at least for me. And we have some of our computers are very virus plagued. I've taken out like hundreds off of just one, and I've did that several times in the past. If you're on Twitter, you can follow me at Jones. It's J O W N E D, or you can just simply go to type in Twitter dot info dot com, and it will direct you to my Twitter page. If you're on Facebook. You could join our Facebook fan page there for the cleartechinfo.com website. Just type in facebook.cleartechinfo.com within your browser and it will direct you to the Facebook fan page. Thanks for watching Technobabble.